My friend, my friend, this is One Direction, Steal My Girl. There are only three chords, and here they are. The first chord can be played on the first fret by barring the A, leaving open this, muting it, or covering it. Either way, the F note is in the B flat chord. That's the fifth. So when we play a B flat major, we're playing what looks like an A major, scooting it up a half step and barring. That is our B-flat major. Remember, if you can't play bar chords, please keep working on them, but you could use a capo. You could put that at the first fret, and then you could simply just play an A major. Does the same thing, technically. And then an E major for your F chord. But we're not doing an F chord, are we? We're gonna be doing a E-flat major, which means if you're playing this here at the B-flat and you wanted to go up to your E-flat major, you can now play it as an A major to D. That's what the capo does for you. But for those of you that are still trying out that B A W R E method, this One Direction song should fill that gap for you. So, B flat major. The other chord we're going to be playing is the E flat major. So we would have a big old bar there. Second fret's going to play what looks like that D. And then um, we have our E flat note here. Otherwise, this chord can be played up here at the sixth fret, barring up the whole thing, and then playing what looks like it is going to be the A major chord at the, what is that, eighth fret? Boom. That's an E flat major. The B flat major, other way to play it is right below that on the sixth fret by utilizing the shape of an E major. So E major, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, or A flat, A, A sharp, or B flat. That's what we're looking at, folks. And then the only other note chord that we have in here in the song is the C minor. And then it goes down to the D flat major again. That's the only time it does it. It does it twice in the song. There are dynamic markers, so sometimes it's loud with 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E. However, when they are playing uh, that B flat major that holds that, definitely has like, and then has a has that same B flat major over the top, and then a B flat the bass holding out characteristically. Um, other than that, this song is pretty straightforward. If you have any questions about it, put it in the comment section below. Thumbs up and subscribe, and as always, share this. Aloha.